G'day boys and girls, today I'm going to be learning how to ride around in the mud. As you can see, I start the day off, Martin's gone past, I actually have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Then I crashed several times before I even fucking made it back to the pits. Man, I couldn't even finish one lap. I fell over like fucking, I don't even know. I couldn't actually finish the lap because I couldn't get up the hill. So I'm going to go back out there and give it another crack. If anything, I'm going to get really good at kickstarting this bike. <laughs> Look at that. It fucking stands up by itself. Con has a video teaching the noobs how to ride in the mud and he recommends sitting really far back in the mud and Lowick said the same thing to Martin and so this time I'm trying to sit really far back on the seat my ass is almost in the fender and it's it works quite well as you can see I'm not really going that fast but just sitting far back is allowing the rear to actually get some grip I'm going to see if I can Maybe even do half a lap before I crash. So, you can see the fucking rear sliding around. I finally make it up this hill. Before, I couldn't even make it up the hill because the rear tire was just spinning and I wasn't going forward. And now that I'm putting hits and weight on the back, I made it up this hill. And I'm just letting the front flop around like I'm not really putting any pressure on the bars. I'm just letting them move around by themselves. I noticed the moment I hold the bars tight then the front just locks up and folds whereas if I just kind of let the front move around it will follow, find its own ruts and bounce around and do its own fucking thing. So I'm trying my best to not fall off. <laughs> And this is a probably about a couple of hours into the day, so I can feel myself improving much more from the beginning of the day, which was pretty much useless. Once again, I get cross rutted here and I just lose the front and I bend it again. So an interesting situation is going to come up pretty soon. I'm pottering along, I go right in the muddy bit and fucking crash. I'm struggling to get the bike up because it's leaned up uphill and half the bike's on the track, half the bike's off the track. So, and my bike's covered in so much mud that it's really, really heavy. So as you can see, I struggle, but I finally get it up. Thanks to this crash, I'm about to hear an amazing piece of advice. It's gonna change the way I ride. The way I even look at dirt riding. There you go. I'll see if I can kick it over. Whew. Mate, you've got to try and pick a dry line, not the wettest. Go on the outside. The outside? See where it's drier. This is. Oh. Shit there. Same when you go over the jump there. Keep to the left. It's drier. He's been giving me tips ever since I first came to Aden. Actually, the first time I went, I was riding in the little kids track with the 50 cc little children. And he was like, what are you doing? What are you doing on this little, with the little kids? You should go on the big track. And I told him I was a bit, was a bit too chicken and he just told me to suck it up. And so now every time he sees me, he's giving me tips. And he's told me to find the dry line. And I've actually tried finding the dry line and trying to remember where it is. And it made such a big difference. And then I get so overconfident that I send it too hard in here and just bin it straight in the mud again. Gee, 
Jesus, I'm actually stuck. Oh. Yeah, my foot's stuck. I don't know how that fuck. Oh, thanks so much. That was silly. <laughs> Mate, I've been watching you all day. I said to Wayne, I said, this guy's been trying all day, man, going around. Good on you. Yeah. The first time I came, I was like, this is awful. <laughs> <laughs> but sort of what you're doing is, the problem you're getting is when you're getting on the gas. Yeah. Um, your your body sort of going out with the back of the bike, yeah. which isn't the best sort of way. Um, so getting over the back in the mud is good, yeah. because it puts the weight on the back wheel and you can carry the front. Yeah. Um, but if it starts to go sideways, then you should probably move your weight further forward a little bit. Uh, so I can let just the bike swing out. Yeah, because see the back of the bike can it, the main thing you've got to control is the front of the bike yeah so if the back end is whipping around like kicking left and right um that's not such a concern um it's like if, if you've got your head sort of above the handlebars and the back end's kicking out yeah you're still sort of centered out the front and that won't make you crash but if your head's back here and the back end of the bike is swapping yeah you're going with it yeah, then yeah. chances are you're going to crash yeah so, um, I think you were overbending your legs a little bit, like you're like this. Okay, and my knees go, are going too forward. Yeah, if you go like this with your legs, yeah. it puts less stress on your quads. Uh -huh. um, it gives you more room between your seat and your ass too, so if you can, like once you go faster, the bike kicks you. Yeah. The bike will kick up and it won't hit your ass. Yeah. Because if it hits your ass, it's going to throw you over the handlebars and crash. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so you're, you're standing, which is good, but maybe for memory. Maybe a bit taller. Yeah, yeah. Just don't over bend your legs. Like it'll feel weird because you'll be up high on the bike. It'll yeah. Really weird. But if you watch the best riders in the world, that's what they do. They're standing and yeah. they're, you know, like their head's hardly moving. Like if you watch Sexton, I don't know. Oh, I I seen some videos. Yeah. Yeah. You watch him, man. He's got perfect stance. He's on the balls of his feet on the pegs. He's gripping the tank with his knees. Yeah. And he's he's just steering the bike and his his head stays about there most of the time. Yeah. I mean, he, he does get back a little bit, but um, yeah, it's a really, really good stance. Okay. So you're a bit over bent on your legs and yeah. a bit hanging out the back. So right. just bring it back a little bit more central and straighten your legs straighten up. Straighten a bit. You'll feel weird because you'll be up high on the bike. Yeah. Uh, it takes a while to get used to it, but um, but that's a better stance. Okay. It'll be safer for you too. I'll give that a go. Yeah. So I've been trying to follow Bill's advice for the last session, trying to stand up a bit taller on the on the bike and hold it with my knees. It's a lot harder than it sounds, and um, and trying to remember to find the dry line as well. I think for next time I'll be focusing a lot more on trying to keep that proper body position a lot taller. At the moment I'm still doing this weird, awkward position. And I pop out of the right here and I go straight into the mud, into the side of, next to the creek. Fuck! It's miserable but fun. And I'm gonna keep doing this.